with lots of genomes from other species, it's possible to conduct comparative genomic analysis. So this is a biological field in which the organization of genomes of different species are compared. What is the size of the genome? How many genes are there? What are their locations? Uh, how many chromosomes are there? Uh, there are lots of questions you can ask. These are some of the results of comparative genomics. We know that among uh, mammals, for example, there are large sections of the genome that contain the same genes arranged in the same order in different species. The figure on the uh, left of this slide is for uh, Cow chromos a region on cow chromosome 23 compared to a region on human chromosome 6. You can see that at the top and the bottom, here and here, the gene orders are the same. And you can see that in the middle, the gene orders are the same, but they have been inverted. And this is a feature of Human chromosome 6 compared to cow chromosome 23 is that the genetic information on this chromosome has been flipped by a chromosomal inversion. So chromosomal rearrangements among species can be identified. We know that the genome size does not correlate very well with evolutionary status. All mammals have genomes of about the same size, about three billion base pairs. But some frogs have genomes that are 30 times larger than the human genome. So, comparative genomics, it helps us understand gene function and expression because we're comparing gene function and expression in species that may be very different. It helps us to improve human and animal health because we can use the human genome to predict uh, genomic issues in animals that are related to health just as well as we can use genomic information from laboratory animals or domestic animals to improve human health. It's called the One Health uh, philosophy. We can use genomics to identify uh, individ ideal individuals for breeding in the case of conservation of endangered species. And there's a wide range of applications in agriculture to improve animal and crop productivity and increase disease resistance. 